Hey, this is Bubbles. I'm near to Trove, so tell me what's up with it. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to What's Up with Trove. Uh, I have here with us, as you heard in the intro, uh, Bubbles. He is a really good friend of mine. We've been playing WoW for, what, two years now? I think we're almost on three now, actually. Oh my gosh, has it been that long? Jeez Louise. Uh, it started way back in the day on Flex So when it first released and, and progressing pretty hard on that. And then your dirty, dirty friend and got me hooked on Trove now. Oh, yes. Yeah, Trove, Trove is, Trove is life. Trove is life. Um, so this week, um, I've got Bubbles here because... Later on, in the after we get over the news and all that other good stuff, I, I'm going to try and reformat the show just a teensy bit and have a discussion topic each week. And this week, I want to kind of backtrack two weeks ago when uh, Tryon released a new Trove starter experience. Um, and Bubbles is about, what, four days into Trove now? Yeah, exactly. Four days today. Wow, I am. I am good. I'm good. Um, so first, let's go ahead and go over the patch notes. Um, this this week, we're actually, I guess you could say, predicting them almost because normally the patch notes are uh, the patch is on Tuesday, and today's Tuesday, but we have no patch. Uh, yesterday, Avram announced in game that they were gonna push it back a day to Wednesday. But they did keep all the notes out, so uh, I think we'll we'll go over the notes, and if anything changes, we'll I'll talk about it next week. Um, yeah, um, let's see here. Do, do. So yeah, uh, Monday night the patch notes came out, and they're calling this week's patch the Cookie Fint Adventure Patch. Yeah, Cookie Fint Adventure Patch. Uh, just from the name, it sounds very exciting and full of elephants. I hope um, they're they're uh, releasing the cookie fint adventure boxes and they're pretty much like the chaos boxes on the store but they drop from enemies um, yeah they, they drop uh, flux glim crafting materials like bones and all your essential crafting needs as well as style boxes and eyes of Cthulhu but the main drop that I think everyone's going to be after, and I can't speak for you either, Bubbles, but they're going to drop blue and pink cookie fit mounts. What do you think of that? Well, I've got the corgi mount, and that thing is freaking adorable. <sighs> but I mean, a cookie elephant just sounds edible and delicious. So it probably just make me hungry looking at it. Oh, and maybe scoops of ice cream for the feet. Oh, that sounds delicious. I want to have some ice cream now. Um, the other uh, addition that they will be adding is players are going to have two jumps by default. And I don't know about you, but I love jumping. My, uh, my hunter has, I think, 13 jumps already. So that's just going to go up. Uh, jump around. Jump around. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I can't believe you had to go away back then. <laughs> I mean, you had to bring that out. My knight has no jumps, so it's going to be nice to have some default. Uh, mm, you got to get some jumps. Well, I guess the knight really doesn't have to jump too much. They're on, they're on the ground, jump, or not jumping, but face tanking everything. Uh, I mean, that's what he does. That is, well, I'd say that the knight is a, is a damage class too. Um, but I know you, you're a tank for, for life, at least in WoW. So, um, the Samantha uh, ally, which was a pet from the Halloween event a couple months ago, I think that was how, yeah, a couple months back, um, they are actually going to be buffing that pet and they're going to be adding some stats, but they haven't really said what stats they're going to be. So I, I assume it's going to be a buff and that they're adding more stats to it. Uh, in case you don't know what it is, it's an adorable little black cat. And he runs around and just does what a cat does. Follows you and stalks you, creeping in the night. It's uh, 
kind of kind of creepy um and the other really important update that they're adding and as players sense the beta and the alpha they are adding a cornerstone clear command um it's going to be slash clear cornerstone and it's going to wipe your cornerstone uh so no no longer are the days of sitting there erasing block by block by block by block by block to clear your cornerstone it'll just reset it back to default uh i don't know if you've been working on your cornerstone bubbles but mine is huge and would be take a long time to erase yours is, is inaccessible with anybody without wings like myself i have to wait for you to fly to the top to use any of your stuff but yeah i just started working on my cornerstone today and i had to manually go through and laser beam all my blocks and it's just way too time consuming i really want to just reset the default and start fresh yeah and it's it's truly an amazing thing because i've seen other people's cornerstones uh in the hub and they are huge and i couldn't imagine wanting to uh reset that to default without this command it would take hours maybe even days um so those players rejoice that this command is coming uh one thing to worry about when you use the slash clear cornerstone command is that it will erase everything and i mean everything it will be gone you will not receive compensation for any blocks at all so make sure that you clear out anything that you want to keep when you do the slash clear cornerstone command and I'm, I'm sure that they will be enforcing this even if you open up a ticket um to a gm or administrator that they will most likely not help you out in that department because they've made it very clear on the forums that they will not reimburse players so make sure you get everything out of there uh and on a minor side note uh they're adding another corgi mount another one it's the Pemborg and the Infinium Pemborg. Uh, feel free to squeal now, Bubbles. Woo! Corgis for life. You and your corgis. Um, in the in the store news, there wasn't really anything added to the store. They just re-randomized the chaos chests again, which I see now they're using this as a preview system and a motivator to buy stuff. But I I'm not going to express my opinions on the store. Um. If you happen to get lucky this time, you can get uh, one of two knight costumes, the Bone Knight and the uh, El Elysian Guardian, I think it is. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, uh, Elysian Guardian. Uh, no word on what those look like. Um, I assume the Bone Knight is going to be very... Eh. I'm thinking it would probably just look like kind of like a skeleton. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe add a face mask as well. There's not enough of those in the game. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, in miscellaneous, miscellaneous news, I guess I'm double talking now. Um, there was a rumor on Twitter that next week there will be an update called the Ships and Chips update. And that is apparently going to have the new rumored pirate class um, going to apparently have one gun and shoot out little cannons that are manned by parrots. I don't know about you, Bubbles, but that sounds extremely adorable and fun. I guess I'm starting from square one again next week. Uh, yeah, and actually speaking about square one, uh, me and Bubbles were considering doing a Let's Play series. Um, so if that class comes out, we may or may not be doing that in the future, right? I say we should just go ahead and agree on it, because, I mean, it's a pirate that shoots cannons with parrots. I mean, you can't get any better than that. No, you can't get any better. Uh, and it, it excites me a lot to have another class, especially another ranged class, because right now we're very melee heavy and could use a few more excellent and fun uh What's the word like? Eh, 
not improved, but like special almost, special little snowflake classes that aren't alike. Um, but I think that's in everything in the news. I don't think I missed anything super important. Uh, do you have anything else to add from the news? I don't. I haven't even been to the forum site at all, so I have no knowledge on news except for what you tell me when we're playing Trove together. Trove is getting tacos. Oh wait, those are already yeah. in the game. It's all I'd like to see is like maybe a healer class or something that can like has a spell like the two button is a spell that heals other people. Mm, I I'd say that's the candy barbarian. Actually, I don't know if you've got a chance to play that. Um, but when they get hit, they, I guess, poop out little candies. Uh, that makes it sound like a very disgusting class. Well, I, but, I mean, I haven't played with the Candy Barbarian at all. You and I have been pretty much, you play with your little demon hunter looking guy with the bow, and I play with the knight, or my gunslinger. So, I mean, Candy Barbarian has not been what we've been playing with lately. Although it does look fun, the whole, like, Summoning a giant ice cone on somebody just seems like deliciousness. It's a very delicious class. Uh, it's a very tasteful class. Oh, your puns. They never get old. <laughs> oh, no. They, they never get old. Just like ice cream. Actually, ice cream does get, get old. That is not an announcement. Do not eat old ice cream. It's probably not going to taste very good at all um so let's uh let's go ahead and uh go ahead and do a discussion topic i wish i had a sounder for that discussion da, 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 da. no 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 star wars or anything like that i don't think we can do that can we Maybe probably we not hmm. don't sue us disney yeah. Disney Hashtag didn't mean to Disney. Don't sick Mickey Mouse on me. <laughs> Tweet it. We'll get it. Uh, we'll get it going. Um, so yeah, like I said at the beginning of the show, uh, we've got Bubbles here, who has been a hardcore World of Warcraft player, uh, pretty much all your PC gaming life, right? Mm, Somewhere on there. Almost. Almost ten. Oh yeah, almost ten years. There's like a couple months in there where I didn't subscribe, so I didn't get the cool statue that they gave out to the ten year veterans. But I started playing WoW in vanilla beta. Is when I first got introduced to it. Just randomly before that, I played uh, the Diablo series, like the original Diablo, where you only had one life and one class, and then just progressed from there. And I've tried Rift before, and I couldn't get into it. I tried a few other MMOs as well. Um, big Minecraft fan though, so it's a plus. Yeah, I I recommend trying out Rift again. Um, just to to see Tryon's other games. Uh, if you like Trove, you might like Rift. Um, but yeah, so I you you started playing Trove after I I didn't painstakingly ask you, but I asked a couple times, and eventually you broke down and tried it. Um. But I, I'm going to ask you a couple quick fire questions and I'd like you to answer them I mean, however you want to answer them, but just don't think. Shoot out whatever pops into your head when I ask them. All right? All right, I guess. Okay, uh, there's nothing too personal in here, I promise. Social security number, last four digits. Oh, um, one, two, three, four. All right, cool. Um, I, I'll be back in about an hour. I'm gonna uh, to Tokyo. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, back on subject. Derail the train. Um, so your favorite class so far? Uh, knight. Okay, your favorite biome, but you have to choose oh, it's, one. Oh, it's got to be the candy biome. I just, it's so pretty, and the enemies are the things they say eat me is just awesome. <laughs> they they are adorable and that's probably up there in one of my favorite biomes too um it's a very sweet biome like i said that um favorite mount uh my corgi all right and uh sun goddess or moon goddess Got i'm gonna go with that moon goddess goddess all right i don't know if you've read anything into trove's lore uh no i have not 
Okay, all right. Yeah, it it's basically an endless battle between the sun god and the moon goddess. Um, I I did watch the moon and sunrise when I was building my uh my cornerstone though. I didn't even know that that it cycled. Is there a day night cycle? Oh, there is a day night yeah. cycle in Trove. Oh my gosh, I never paid too much attention. I'm gonna have to watch the sunrise, or maybe it'll rise while I'm on screen. Trove. Which, if nobody has noticed, I, I am in trove. But... Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, that's the end of the quick fire questions. See, nothing too personal. I don't bite too hard. Um, but there are a couple deeper in depth topic points, I guess, that I'd like to go uh, discuss. Um, what did you think of trove when I first told you about it? I mean, honestly, I didn't know what to think. I've been, I'm a pretty hardcore WoW player. I mean, I've been in some of the big raiding guilds and all that. And my only relaxation game was Minecraft and just building stuff. So when I was told about Trove, you kind of just kind of said it's kind of like Minecraft and the kind of the looks, but not really. And I didn't do any research. I was just like, well, if Tiny's playing and he says it's good, he has that steered me wrong before. So I just jumped, pretty much just jumped feet first into it and I mean, it's a good game i really enjoy it it's really relaxing i mean i have yet to get frustrated at all even when i die to random spikes that always seem to get me i just the music the music just soothes you out of it they do have a good soundtrack i wish they would actually release the soundtrack um to, to the players to hear outside of the game as well i'd like to drive to work listening to Hold on one second. Derailing here. I, I don't know if my microphone is picking this up or not, but my sister is having a conversation with her upstairs. I apologize if you can hear any of it. Um, I usually record later than this, so you might hear some background noises. Uh, you're recording because I have Ray tonight on WoW, and it's about the only time that we can get to it. That's true, that's true, but I'm trying not to blame you. Bubbles, it's not your fault. It. It's okay. Go ahead. It, <laughs> blame me. I got blamed last night for raid wipes, so it's all right. Oh, guild drama. Hashtag guild drama. Um, so after I told you, or well, I guess you already answered. Um, let's go ahead and skip down uh, to when you finally first logged into the game and you're sitting in that beginning area. What did? What were your thoughts? Let's get in your head. So you sign in, you drop down into that first box. What's going on in Bubble's head? Where are my controls? This is nothing like, wow, I can't move. Where are my hot buttons? Where are my key buttons? I'm so confused. And then, oh God, I'm scared. Oh, and you were scared. But I was right there to guide you with you. Um, and it, the, the controls were fast, weren't they? To to get the hang of after after playing around a bit. A, tri a trial and error. I mean, I still can't find some of the button, the hot buttons. But as far as like movement goes, yeah, it was pretty fast to pick up. But I'm just with WoW. I'm used to left clicking my mouse for my camera to move, and then move with my W A S and D. But with Trove, the mouse, I don't have to click it. It's just automatic moving with that so it was a little bit different i constantly still trying to click to move my mouse and move my camera and and you know you can uh re-key map i think just about every command in trove to um to make it more comfortable to you as well i should probably do that and remap it to what i do in wow because i've got i've got a really nice keyboard that one of our other friends turned me on to that lets me cycle through key maps so I may have to set up one for Tris Trove in general. Oh, see, learning something new. Um, so in in the tutorial, what what? Well, first of all, what'd you think of the tutorial? I, I'm gonna be honest; it was a horrible tutorial. It was, it was one of the worst tutorials I've ever played, and I've I've played a lot of games. Like I'm a very big gamer. I mean, Xbox, PlayStation, you name it, I've played it. And honestly, it was one of the worst tutorials I've ever done. Like, they did not go in depth about the controls and how the game works. There's no mechanics. 
that, yeah, it they they could have done better, but compared to what we had before, it was just basically um a box. They dropped you into a box and said, "Click here." They added some some artwork, I guess, uh, some background to disguise the tutorial as a tutorial and added a, a teensy bit of lore. But they they probably could improve on the. I completely agree with you on that one. Um, I guess. In as a new player, what do you wish that they would add to the tutorial to make you feel more at home, uh, be a smoother adapt to the game? I guess I want to say like some of the games I've played before you even start, um, they go over the controls with you. Like there's a big screen that pops up in the center of your screen and it says this is the controls to move and walk. Here's what's mapped to what. Here are some of uh, the hot buttons that you'll need for your bags, for potions, things like that. I didn't get that. And if I did get it, it was, I don't remember it. I remember having to go up to this little blue fiery fountain thing and kind of try to hover over it. And then it would tell me things. And that was it. I wish it was before you could even start, you'd go through this little scrolling tutorial. Okay. All right. Um, And then I, I guess... I don't even know if the t- did the tutorial tell you anything about the store at all? No, like I didn't know about the store until I accidentally hit the button to open it. Okay. Or so- no, whenever I decided to pick my first class is when I, because you get the free token and everything. I didn't know about the store until I opened that. Did they go over the, the anything about the? Not, I guess not the classes, but like you just had this token sitting in your bag, or did they tell you? It yeah, it just said. They said class token, and you clicked it, and it took you to the class screen, and then they didn't tell you about the currency system or anything like that. Like, you have the rainbow currency, and then you have, I guess, Glim, too, or Flux, or whatever it is. I can't tell. They're both yellow (laughs) and gold-looking. But it didn't go in-depth as to what the currency ratio is to dollars. So it's kind of hard. It's just like, hey... Do you want to add some currency to your account? And I was like, yeah, no, not going to happen. I already pay for WoW. <laughs> yeah, uh, but at least they're not super aggressive like some games are with their uh, cash store. Um, no, it's not. I mean, the store doesn't look like it's a, a pay-to-win uh, scenario. I think it's a pay-to-look-cool scenario. Like, there's a lot of cosmetic things on there. The only thing that gets me is the classes that you have to buy them. That's the thing that gets me. Well, you can you can buy them with actual like real money currency to I think it's qubits or something. Um, but then you can also pay for the classes with the weekly or the daily coins that you get as well. You can save those up. I think it's eighty five hundred coins a week or two. Save up. That's nine thousand for the last one. Was it? Oh wow, that's more than I thought. So I'm kind of curious as to what the pirate's going to be when it comes out. It, it'll probably be high at first, and then we're down after a week or two. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, you have any other thoughts about Tro? I mean, you're liking the game now, right? After- yeah, I mean, the game is really fun. I mean, I have so many characters on WoW that are level 100 and at the end of the t- content, so it's kind of like... A daily grind for me every reset so every tuesday i have to come home and i have all kinds of stuff to do i have lfrs to run on some of my lower level cartoons to get gear i've got dailies to do i've got my mats to format i mean it's just a lot of stuff to do and then trove i have one daily thing to do and that's the dungeon quest thing and that's it and then I can just lounge around and do whatever I want on Trove. So it's a nice change of pace. Like when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with WoW or I'm just not feeling well, I just switch over to Trove and just kind of relax, kill candy people. Yay, candy people. You could call Trove stress. It's something, I mean... I honestly, if somebody asked me a good, like, casual game to play, I'd have to say Trove is something good, even though it's still in the beta process right now. It's insanely good. Like, they've done an excellent job as how it plays out. 
there's a few tweaks here and there that I think need to be addressed. Like the store needs to be addressed. The tutorial definitely needs to be addressed. Like I think that should be pretty high on the list is setting up a good tutorial for players. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. At least they have you now. At least after you got through getting difficulties and whatnot. They, they have you hooked, line, and sinker, I take it? They do. It's just whenever I switch back to WoW, I'm still in that trove keyboard mindset. So I found myself actually today I switched back and I went to try to mount up in WoW and I'm hitting the mount button and it's not doing anything and I'm like, why ain't I mounting? And then I realized, oh, I have to actually go over and click my bar for my mount and it's like, this mount is really slow and I have maximum writing skill in WoW that lets me write at like 200, 200% or 150% increased movement speed and it's just, it felt so slow compared to what Trove has. On my corgi, it's like I'm flying around Trove. Oh, just wait until you get your wings when you're literally flying around Trove. Yeah, you outdistance me, like, instantly. <laughs> like, I've pretty much come to the mm -hmm. fact that I'll let you start off first, and I'll just kind of lollygag around. <laughs> and then they have that nice join on friend thing, and I'll just join on you, <laughs> and then look around the map as it loads, see if I see any dungeons. And then if you're still going, join on you again. I mean, it's a nice function. I think that's one of the better things. It's just, I wish there was a way to turn it off whenever you're not with your friends so other people can't join on you. Because sometimes it's annoying, like you're waiting for somebody to sign on at a dungeon, like a recipe dungeon, and somebody spawns on you and then just clears the dungeon before your friend signs on. I think that's kind of annoying. That would be a good feature. Um, devs, if you're listening, good ideas. Um, there, yeah, ideas. Um, did you forget where your thumbs were? <laughs> I I did. I lost them underneath my my microphone is like right in front of me and got lost for a second. I oh, mean, it's all about that headset. It's all about that uh, I, I hashtag do. Turtle Beach ast hashtag Astro A thirties. You know, repping my stuff. <laughs> Um, sadly, we're not promoted. By I wish I was. That'd be cool. I know. I, I mean, if you guys are listening to this just happenly, I play <laughs> well a lot, and you know, I could use some loot boxes. Uh, good times, good times. Um, yeah, I I think that wraps it up. I don't I don't really have any I can think of at least. Yeah, well, I guess that that's pretty much it. Um, hmm. we got a mod of the week to go over, even though I have no idea what how you do the mod in the game. I know, but I don't think I can. I go over mods without their permission. And Probably got, not. Got back to me. I don't. I don't think I want to touch that without permission. So I'll. Uh, I'll move that to next week. I was thinking about it. Uh, oh look, I've been disconnected. To inactivity. Yay! Well, I come back and it it tells me that it cancels the logout, and I've been gone like two minutes. I'm like, oh Trove, you need to calm down. <laughs> wow, lets me sit there for days without logging me out. Well, I've been sitting here for this whole podcast, and I I don't know. I lost track about thirty minutes. Uh, OBS says, wow, thirty minutes already. Bye bye. Um. And it just now told me I've been disconnected. I, my character's sitting there with his head hanging down. He looks kind of sad. Kind of, I want, I, I want to go sit down. And I thought your, I thought your character was crying earlier today. I was waiting for you because you want to turn the laundry in or something. I came back and your character's staring at the ground. And I'm like looking down. I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> well, and so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I found a bug. It's really interesting. Uh, just gonna sit here and stare at it till I come back. And bugs are interesting. like a fly. Um, you can dance in Trove. Did you know that you can slash. I didn't dance. know you could dance. Yeah, they they actually recently added. You can like about a month ago, I think. You can do slash dance, and each character does their own little nifty dance. Um, I I demonstrate, but my chair would squeak. Squeaking. No, your mic is uber sensitive. 
it, it, I'm going to have to play with the settings and just now occurred to me that I hope it didn't pick up your voice and think it was mine. I, I would cry. I don't know, maybe. We'll find out whenever you replay it back. I, I'm going to have to edit it, actually, because I'm early. It's only 6 o'clock here. So I'm not used to having all this extra time. Uh, I'm used to recording at 10 o'clock at night. Um, I like it, though. It's nice. Nice early record time. Oh, look, a faucet. I'm getting Well, you mean it's 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock somewhere. A, it's 9 o'clock my time. Are you on a different time zone as me now? No. Oh, maybe my iPad. Oh, my iPad is screwed up. Okay, no, it's definitely nine o'clock. Uh, misused info. Yeah. Okay. Hashtag At iPod not updating. It's jailbroken. I hope you're not listening, Apple. Don't ban me. Yeah, my iPad is jailbroken. Um. Oh, and uh, on other last minute beep 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 news. Uh, today is. Where's it at? There it is. Oop. Oh. Well, you can kind of see it. If you're listening, if you're watching the show, I'm wearing a hat, but it's green. And so it kind of disappears a little. But happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I should have opened with that. I was surprised Trove didn't have a thing for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, they've done every other holiday, didn't they? Like They they did a couple other holidays. They, they didn't... Um, they they celebrated Mustache Day or no not it wasn't Mustache Day it was uh, No Shave November, and they gave out mustaches and whatnot to players, um, but they haven't done anything else since then. Well, Halloween and they do the major holidays: Halloween, Christmas, and uh, maybe New Year's. We haven't had a New Year with Trove yet, so. Um, but yeah, they did celebrate Mustache Awareness. Yeah, you know, I I celebrate No Shave November. So, I mean, it's a very important holiday. It is. I still have my beard. Beard, beard, playing with my beard. Yeah. I think we fell way off the show. Um, Trove, that's what we're here for. Yeah, Trove. Uh, so, I guess I guess that's it. Um, I guess we can go ahead and end it now. Uh, I need sounders. That's what I'm missing. I need to make some sounders. Well, if anybody's listening out there that wants to help him with some sounders, you should do that. That'd be awesome. And if, if anybody is hesitant about starting Trove, go ahead and just jump in. You won't be disappointed at all. It's fun. It is, despite some of the negative things we've said, because I, I realized that quite a bit of today's episode was dogging Trove. We still love you. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say dogging. It is just... There are some features. I mean, everybody's got to remember this game is still in beta. So, I mean, right. no, it's not 100% done. They're still constantly working on it. That's like saying that WoW is 100% completed whenever it's not. The game is constantly evolving. We're constantly getting hot fixes. We're constantly getting patches. So, I mean, like every other MMO, this game is evolving. It's moving in good directions as long as they listen to their community this game will go far. And they do. They're very, very uh, community-driven. I, I don't know if you are aware of how much of the game is actually community-made. I think, like, at least 90% of the dungeons you enter now are made by the fans. Uh, they actually have a whole Reddit page designated to user-submitted content, weapons and hats and faces and all that other good stuff. And it, it kind of... The mod mods too are all user submitted content. Uh, that modding for Trove isn't like it is in World of Warcraft. You just kind of overwrite the skin with another skin, and then they look at that and they say, "Hey, this should go in the game based on how much people enjoy that mod, but not." Oh, so you're allowed to mod in Trove and get away with it? You it. It's not modding like you think it's modding, though. It's more or less taking one skin, replacing it with another. It doesn't really affect gameplay at all. Like, you you can't mod in an item with extra stats on it. But if I want to take my Corgi, and I think my Corgi for Valentine's Day should have a heart, so I make that Corgi in a, a third-party program, the, the skin of that Corgi, and then I replace my current Corgi skin with the Corgi with the heart on it, and then I submit it 
to the forums, people take a look at it and they say, hey, I like this. And then eventually Trove says, hey, we like this too. We're going to put it in the game. Um, that's actually how Scoops came to be. My, my panda was user submitted. Uh, he poops out no. confetti whenever he walks around, just so you know. <laughs> he does. He does. I love it. Scoops is my buddy. Yeah, he poops out confetti. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to say to that. Um, he does. He's amazing. The Scoops. Hashtag Scoops. Magoops. Scoops. All right, I'm going to bring I'm going to bring us out of here. We are so far. I think by about 10 minutes, we're we're way off, way off track here. The train is over here and over there. Um, so it, why don't you go ahead and tell the fine listening and watching folks how they can find you? Uh, I have nothing. You just hashtag bubbles on Twitter and you'll find me somewhere. Or you can search for fail raids on youtube and i'm sure i'm in one of those too i'm a pretty big goofball oh almost well you're not really off we need to hook you up somehow no i was on the radar back in the day i mean i had my we did our own podcast and i was on the radar i just kind of fell off that bandwagon stopped hardcore rating five days a week for four or five hours a night i mean stopped doing that and you just People just forget about you. You fade into the wind. Oh, well, just like fading into the wind, uh, we're going to fade out very slowly. Um, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm actually on the radar, unlike my co bubbles. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Alan91330. Uh, show notes can be found at... Uh, What's up with trove.blogspot.com. Uh, you can find me in game uh, at uh, with Tiny, uh, T I N Y. Um, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or issues, or suggestions, content, uh, questions, I said that twice, uh, email the show, uh, what's up with trove at gmail.com. A door means completely something else. I know, exactly. They keep telling me you need to put a sock on the door when you're recording. And I just, I don't want to put a sock on the door when I'm recording. I mean, it's. I got this weird. sweet little um, thing. It's, I got a mouse from Amazon for like $29 on sale. And it came with this little hanger thing that you put on the doorknob that says, I'm gaming right now. And then you flip it, it says, I'm not gaming. I'm just reading about gaming. Well, blooper reels. That's what it says all about those blooper reels. All about the bloop, about the bloop. No reels. It feels like. Whatever. Good. I got a Corgi mount on my second day. I'm happy. I didn't even know I got it until I opened my bag and I'm like, dude, there's a Corgi face on my bag. Dude, I'm jealous of Sprinkles. <laughs>